Bangladesh J Jekane Acho, first year, second year medical students and the students all over the world who are watching me, Tobade Shobaike, Oni Oni Shubitcha, O Shagato Janachi, Ami Dr. Chandana Shakar, Shahujiyo Tapo, Obibagio Prothan, Anatomy Department, Potwakali Medical College, Potwakali. Amadir asked a topic, Patella. Amras Ikiki Porbo, what is Patella? What is its anatomical position? What are the presenting parts, etc. So, Shurupodi, what is patella? It is the largest sesamoid bone in the body. What do you mean by sesamoid bone? The bone which ossifies from the tendon of the muscle is termed as sesamoid bone. The patella, bone tendon thick ossify correct? It ossifies from the tendon of the quadriceps femoris muscle. What do you mean by quadriceps femoris? Four muscles collectively termed as quadriceps femoris. Kiki muscle, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, and rectus femoris. These four muscles together known as quadriceps femoris. To keep on the patella, it is the largest sesamoid bone in the body. Now, what are the characteristic features of the sesamoid bone? After characteristic feature, I'm already going to learn, yeah, they ossify from the tendon of the muscle. Number two, they ossify after birth. Number three, they are deified of periosteum. And number four, they are deified of Habertian system. Now, what are the anatomical points? Apex is directed downwards and base is directed upwards. Anterior surface is rough and convex. Posterior surface is articular and the larger articular portion is directed lateral. Now what are the presenting parts? It presents apex, base, anterior surface and posterior surface. Apex the pointed. The pointed apex is directed downwards. The anatomical points Boloshmamra pointed apex is directed downwards. And base, base into upper border of Balahaji. What are the presenting parts? Which is the apex, base or upper border, medial border, lateral border, anterior surface, and posterior surface. The pointed apex is directed downwards. It provides attachment to the ligamenta patellae. Ligamentum patellae connects the patella with the tibial tubero CT. Now anterior surface, it is rough, convex, and it shows numerous vascular foramina. These are the foramina, nutrient foramina. Yeah. It's an anterior surface, it is longitudinally stretched on the patella, it is fibers of the quadriceps femoris, the ossification will shape fibers. This is the ossified fibers. Now, we have a little bit of an irregular area for attachment of the quadriceps femoris. These are the nutrient foramina. The medial border provides attachment to the vastus medialis in its upper two-third and lower one-third provides attachment to the medial patellar retinaculum. Lateral border provides attachment in its upper one third to the vastus lateralis and in its lower two third to the lateral patella retinaculum. Base or upper border provides attachment rectus femoris in front and behind vastus intermedius. Posterior surface, it am the posterior surface is articular. But it is articular in its upper three fourth and lower one fourth is non articular. And upper three fourth, the articular surface, it is again divisible into two parts by a vertical ridge into a larger lateral portion and a smaller medial portion. 
the medial portion is again divisible by a faint vertical breeze into a smaller medial portion and a larger lateral portion. Our body should be the jai. attachment. This is the medial border. In its upper to third, it provides attachment to the vastus medialis and the lateral border in its upper one third. It provides attachment to the vastus lateralis and base or upper border. It provides attachment to the rectus femoris in front and vastus intermedius behind. These four muscles, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and rectus femoris, these four muscles collectively known as quadriceps femoris. And the patella ossifies from the tendon of the quadriceps femoris muscle. The posterior surface is the articular surface of the vascular mm -hmm. vertical is the larger lateral portion and the smaller medial portion. Smaller medial portion is again divisible into two parts, a smaller medial portion and larger lateral portion. And smaller the medial part, it is the medial strip. A medial strip comes in contact with the medial femoral condyle in full flexion of the knee joint. And except this medial strip, the articular surface is again divisible by two horizontal rays into an upper area, middle area, and lower area. Upper area comes in contact with the femoral condyle during ordinary flexion of the knee. Middle portion comes in contact with the femoral condyle in semi-flexion of the knee and the lower portion comes in contact with the femoral condyle in ordinary extension. And the lower one foot, the non-articular, it is again divisible into two parts. The lower portion provides attachment to the ligamentum patelli and the upper part is related to the patellar pad of fat. The anterior surface is rough and convex. It is subcutaneous. The pre-patellar subcutaneous bursa intervenes between the anterior surface and the skin. After that, the vastus lateralis is upper one third lateral border, upper one third, but vastus medialis is the medial border, upper two third joint. And patella recta, natural tendency thakke, laterally dislocated howard. It is natural tendency kyanu thakke due to upward and lateral pool of the quadriceps femoris. AJ natural tendency to dislocate laterally, it a prevent kare abar ke, the prevent hoi by three factors. First of all, more forward projection of lateral femoral condyle. Number two, is a vastus medialis, prolonged attachment of vastus medialis on the medial border than that of the vastus lateralis on its lateral border. Number three, medial pool by the medial patellar retinaculum. Medial pool by the medial patellar retinaculum. That is natural tendency to dislocate laterally. It is prevented by three factors. First of all, more forward projection of lateral femoral condyle. Number two, prolonged attachment of vastus medialis on the medial border than that of the vastus lateralis on the lateral border. And number three, medial pool exerted by the medial patellar retinaculum. So patella ossify high cochon, amragi bulletin je, sisamoid bone ossify after birth. During three to four years of base, ossification start high and completed high at puberty. So, this is all about the patella. And the patella fracture for the paracochon. The direct blow high, then the patella fracture have a each other. Sudden contraction of the quadriceps fever is talking into patella fracture page at the very transfer structure. After patella, at the characteristic feature, it is devoid of pedestrian AJ, devoid of pedestrian Jantunu Kitu, fracture related union coil. So, this is all about the patella. So, what is the following? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, what is the topic? 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 So, what is the topic?
তোমাদের সবাইকে অনেক অনেক ধন্যবাদ